welcome to April 1st, the first day of the Tribes Challenge. Um, if you know me, I'm a recovering MIT um, engineer and I like challenges and I like puzzles and this is a way of kind of apologizing for book three being so late. So um, every day I'm going to post a challenge and some days they're just going to be clues for a bigger challenge. So for instance, today we're still working out how you get our answers to us. So we're going to have at least five, maybe more, but I'm thinking five um, hints. Um, and what we're going to give away is this. It's heavy. It's a Seiko clock. I have one of my own and I love it so much. I went out and got a couple more. They're vintage, so it took a little time for me to find them. But you know in the book, I always try to keep track in the first book of where Ben is and where he's going and where the time zones are. So this one has um, the little plane that flies around. So yeah, I'm gonna give this away, but I'm gonna post a clue every day for five days. So you don't have to submit every day, just hold your answer because um, then at the end, I'm gonna ask you to um, give me all the answers at once, I think. Um, and then I have smaller prizes because I'm a prize hoarder. So I have things like these custom steampunk hearts, which were done by Lord and Lady Tower, and I'll put their pictures up when we have this for a prize. And they're all hand lasers in the gears turn. Um, you probably know that um, we have Judy Peterson and Dave Peterson of Fantaminos who make these amazing three-day wooden puzzles. Um, some of them are really, really good, so I um, bought some from her. And this is on cardboard because I don't want it falling apart, but this in fact is a puzzle. And so you know this will probably be a safe harbor um, clue. And then um, Marisa Means, who's in our local sci-fi group, crochets like a badass. And so what she did was she made one for me, so I asked her to make a couple that I could give away. So you knew this wasn't gonna be easy. Tune in every day, and if you miss a day, that's okay. If it's for the bigger prizes, um, you can come in and catch up as long as you get everything done by when I say the last day is. And then if I do the mini puzzles, that'll be a second puzzle and I'll show you the picture of what the prize is for that day. You don't have to buy the book. Um, it um, will do a random drawing of everyone who gets the um, the puzzle right. I'll, I'll get the email address up where you can send your answer. We're gonna be fair about this. And then everyone who enters, um, everyone who enters with a right answer at the end of the month, I'll take all those names and I'll put them in kind of a bowl or I'll have them on a spreadsheet and I'll do a random number generator and we have a brand new, um, 128 gig iPad. Now, it's not an iPad Pro because I'm a starving artist, but I hit a really good deal during um, Cyber Monday. And of course, um, I got way behind because of all the drama going in Kansas City. But thanks, you know, you guys have been my heart and you've been really supportive throughout my career as an author. And so you know how I am. So let's, let's, let's do this. Um, Let's start, and this is the first clue, and you will need the answer to this challenge to know what to do with the challenge I post for tomorrow. And we're always gonna put it on the Lost Tribes website because um, it's just too hard to manage Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all of those responses. So um, I'll have an email address and you can always phone a friend. Um, if I have something you don't, you know, you can work with teams, I don't care. Um, you know, we are going to be on lockdown for at least a month here. So um, thanks. Um, talk to you soon and good luck and have fun.